Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a brand new pick a card reading for you guys today. And today we are checking in on your June 2024 predictions. Yes, indeed. So crack out your sunglasses, get some iced coffee, and get ready to see what may be in store for you for this very first month of summer that we're going to be embarking upon. And I have some fun things coming up right here on this channel uh, this summer. So you'll just have to stay tuned. I have something really fun coming up and it's going to be out and ready for you guys by the summer solstice, if not before then. So more to come on that later. Anyways, we have four beautiful piles here to choose from for our options. But before I dive into our, our pile choices here, I just wanted to ask you guys really quick to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. By doing that, of course, it helps push this video out into the YouTube algorithm so as many people as possible have the options to check out what may be coming up for them this June, besides you, of course, which I definitely surely appreciate. Um, also, you guys, if I wind up resonating with you as a reader, I ask you to go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell. By doing that, you will be up to date and in the know every time a brand new reading is posted, anytime I'm live, which I've been working on going live more often lately. So, um, you know, I would love to be able to do like a card pull for you, like you personally, not just in a collective way, um, through one of my lives. And that's the best way to catch that is when I'm live. Um, so yeah, any, any update, any new thing that's happening here on the channel, the best way to find out what's happening is by hitting the notification bell, obviously, when you subscribe, you won't miss a thing that way. Also, you guys, don't be shy. Feel free to say hi. Drop me a comment down below in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. This is, after all, social media, so let's be social. Let's interact with one another. And if you do wind up enjoying this reading, if this really clicks with you, if it really stands out, and you want to dive in deeper, um, I also want to invite you guys to head on over to my website, shadowandshine.com. It's basically your one-stop shop for everything. So if you're interested in a personal reading, because mind you, these are, of course, general collective readings. So, you know, it's it's basically meant for a huge range of people. <laughs> um, some things may make sense in these pick a card readings and some things may not. So if you really want to dive in and get specific for you personally and your specific situations, um, head on over to my website. You can order a personal reading there. Uh, you can also order an Oracle deck there. I have several different Oracle decks available for purchase. So it doesn't matter if you do readings on yourself, readings for friends. If you have clients of your own that you do readings for, um, any of my decks are super fun and super creative options to be able to have as a part of your own personal collection at home. So those are available over on my website as well. And all of these services are also available over on my Etsy shop. So, uh, yeah, so I definitely invite you to check that out. And also, you guys, um, I also would love to invite you over to my Patreon. That's definitely been one of my personal goals this year is building out my Patreon and just, you know, building a community there is what it comes down to. So I would really love for you guys to hop on over and check that out. There are free memberships, so there is no obligation to join at a paid level. So if you're just curious, you just want to take a sampling, you just want to check it out and dip your toe in the pool, that's totally cool. But if you're ready to dive in, you want to dive in with me over there, that's an option too. Uh, I do daily card pulls and weekly card pulls and so much more beyond that at, at the paying levels, obviously. 
And there's also a Discord community within the paid levels where you can connect with one another. And ultimately, like if you're searching for friends, if you're searching for your soul tribe, people that you can relate to, like maybe you don't have a lot of people that you relate to in your regular everyday, like in person world, this is a great way to do that. So uh, we discuss all kinds of things there, twin flames, astrology, tarot, um, like a whole bunch of stuff and even just like regular life stuff too. So, um, yeah, I would love to invite you guys over there to my Patreon. So feel free to check that out. I'm sorry if like I made a weird noise. I don't know if I did. I like hit the microphone <laughs> that is like pinned to my chest right now as I was talking. Sometimes that happens. I get a little, a little emphatic and I just move my hands and they go everywhere. Um, let me check here. Yeah, no, it's still good. It's still on. I didn't accidentally turn it off. Anyways, so links to all of those things, my website, my other socials, my Patreon, all that good stuff is in the description box down below. So feel free to check that out if you're interested in any of those things. But right now, let's dive into these pile introductions, of course, because there's so much going on in the month of June, and we have a lot to dive into. So let's not waste any more time and get into these introductions. Pile number one, we have some green adventuring, and it is in the form of a little teeny tiny baby Yoda carving. So I was, I was trying to think of what crystals I wanted to use for this month, and I decided to go with crystals I feel like I don't use very often in pick a card readings. So Baby Yoda here, of course, is pile number one. So if you're feeling the force, if you feel it's with you, you may want to choose him. Um, AKA Grogu. Uh, pile number two, we have a clear quartz tower. Just a simple little clear quartz tower. Clear quartz is, of course, very powerful for amplification. So whatever it is you're trying to amplify in life, whether it is protection or spiritual communication, love, money, abundance, any of those good things, just throw some clear quartz into the mix there and it'll just amplify your desires and what you're trying to manifest. Uh, pile number three, I actually don't remember what this is, <laughs> which is probably why I don't use it very often in my pick a card readings because I'm like, I don't even remember what it is at the time. Um, it is definitely like an aura of some kind. Like you see it kind of has like a little rainbow shimmer, shine in there. So it is definitely an aura. Uh, it might be hard to tell on the camera, but it has kind of like a pale blue color to it. So I don't know if anyone knows what a pale blue aura would be. That's what this one is. Um, it's one of my older crystals that I had. Um since I lived in LA. I remember I got that one from the House of Intuition. And this last one here is actually pretty cool. It has a stand, so there's there's a stand here. Just ignore that part. Um, but it's a sphere, obviously, and we have some obsidian, and it is actually the uh, astrological signs that is on here. It's carved on there. It's, it's all in pink. As you can see, it's like the astrological signs, the zodiac. So that's pretty cool. I remember I got this one in Wisconsin, like not long before I moved here to Colorado. So that one is pile number four. Anyways, um, go ahead and make your selection. There is no right or wrong way to do this basically. So you can pick by crystal, by number, um, simply like, whatever stands out to you, whatever feels the most resonant and connective to you, that's how you should choose, obviously. Um, and you can choose more than one pile. So, you know, you even if there's more than one that stands out to you, you can choose one, two, three, or heck, you know, go crazy and you can choose all four if you really want to. So pick as many or as little piles as you want, however you want. But right now we're going to dive in here with pile number one, our little Baby Yoda group. Let's find out what you need to know for June 2024. Hi, pile one. If you chose our little Baby Yoda here, Grogu, the green adventuring carving, 
then this is going to be the reading for you to find out what you need to know for June 2024. All right, so Baby Yoda's got his front row seat. He's excited to see what cards you guys got. And we're going to start with these lovely pink cards here, which happen to be from the Ice Cream Oracle deck. And now that, you know, summer's basically here, I love using the Ice Cream Oracle deck during summertime just because, you know, let's just eat ice cream because it's nice and cold on those hot summer nights, right? Okay, let's see what you guys got. Okay, we have Kiwi Strawberry, Youthfulness, Optimism, and Exuberance. So you may find yourself, like I'm feeling especially the word exuberance there. You may find yourself feeling very exuberant throughout the month of June, basically. Um, just kind of more of like a cheerful kind of outlook, very optimistic, obviously, as the card says. So with the youthful vibe, you yourself may be young, but even if you're not, even if you're a little bit further along in your journey and you feel like you're more of like an old soul or a mature person, um, a more aged person, whatever the case may be, um, once again, age ain't nothing but a number, right? So, um, you know, that being said, you could be someone who's very much so young at heart. And you could be feeling very young at heart and energetic because of that uh, throughout the month of June. So this is obviously a really good way to start the month of June, a really good way to kick it off. Um, also, when I think of youthfulness, um, you know, I think of kids in general. So maybe you have kids or you have grandkids or you have nieces and nephews or something like that. Like there could be youth that surrounds you. There could be youth that surrounds you in your life. And maybe that's going to be a big part of your June as well. So, you know, uh, you know, kids will be obviously finishing up school and they're going to have time off. So, you know, if you're a mom, you could be spending more time with your kids or, um, you know, once again, if you're an aunt or something like that, you might be spending more time with your niece and nephews. Um, you know, when they're off of school and stuff like that. So I feel like definitely if, if anything, it could also mean that just simply like spending time with young people, with youthful people, that kind of thing. But I feel like for the most part, regardless, even if there are no like, quote unquote, young people in your life, you're the one who is young at heart here. So you're going to have a lot of energy starting off in the month of June, which is great. Um, and you're going to be feeling good. You know, optimism is obviously um, having a positive outlook, having a positive view on things. So it sounds like we're starting things off here on the right foot. We also have avocado, which I know sounds really weird for ice cream. <laughs> like, I don't think of avocados when it comes to ice cream either. I think of avocados like guacamole, like dipping tortilla chips in there or something, but not when it comes to ice cream. Anyways, um, for avocado, we have self-care, beauty, and healing. So I feel like one of the reasons you're going to be able to have all this exuberance and energy, positivity, and optimism is you're going to be taking care of yourself. You're going to be prioritizing your own needs in the month of June. It's very difficult to extend yourself and to help others and, um, you know, pour into other people's cups if your own personal cup is empty. So I feel like you're going to be taking the time to pour into your own cup and taking care of your own needs. That is not selfishness, my friends. That is self-care as the card says you got to take care of yourself and there's nothing wrong with doing that you are just as valuable and you are just as important as anybody else that you're being there for that you're helping that you're assisting you are just as valuable as they are so as you should when it comes down to taking care of yourself um when it comes down to the beauty aspect in this card, you know, that could be a part of the self-care. Maybe you're going to wind up treating yourself to a mani-pedi. Maybe you're going to buy a few new outfits to get ready for the summer. Um, 
you know, maybe you're going to go get like a little makeover done or something like that. Go to the spa, whatever it is, get your hair done, um, you know, change it up hairstyle wise or maybe hair color wise for the summer. Uh, but, you know, either way, the bottom line is it's going to make you feel good. It's going to make you feel good in the long run. And when we're practicing self-care, when we're doing the things to prioritize our needs, that can be very, once again, last word here, it can be very healing. And that is definitely a beautiful thing. So you guys are definitely like on a roll here. Really good start for June. I'm proud of you guys because, you know, that's, that's a great thing. We also have the Mango Ice Cream card. Um, attraction, intrigue, sensuality. Ooh, so once again, I feel like because you guys are taking the time to put in your self-care, doing that beauty regimen, whatever it is, you're taking good care of yourself. Because you're taking good care of yourself, you're putting yourself in a good position here to feel more positive, energetic, optimistic. Um, you're going to physically be feeling younger because of that. You know, because of all this here is really like feel good energy. You're going to be drawing into you then things that you want to attract. Um, so yeah, I feel like because you're going to be feeling good and kind of like riding on this high, it's going to be intriguing to others. People are going to look at you and they're going to be like, what does she have going on? That I don't like, how is she doing this? Like, what is she doing? Like her skin is glowing. Her eyes are sparkling. Her smile is just like beaming. People are going to be wanting what you have. People are going to be drawn to that. They're going to be like, oh my gosh, like, how is she doing that? It's going to be very intriguing. People are going to be asking you, like, where did you get your hair done? Where did you get your nails done? Like, what have you done that's so different where it's like there's such a positive turnover happening right now? Um, and the other interesting thing with attraction and sensuality is you may be drawing in some romantic attention as well. So I feel like, number one, if you're already involved with somebody, if you're already committed to somebody, I feel like... This is just going to kind of like almost be like a like a reawakening a sense in the relationship where they're just going to be not that they stopped being drawn to you, obviously, but I feel like there's going to be like this new level of being drawn to you again. It's going to kind of like reignite the fire for a little bit of summer fun for the two of you. And if you're single, um, I feel like this card is saying get ready to mingle. <laughs> If you're single, get ready to mingle because I feel like it's definitely going to be drawing in people who are going to be interested in you, who are going to want to pursue you. Um, you know, there's the potential for suitors to come in here. So, um, so that's pretty cool. You know, it's like when we're feeling good, when we're feeling that little high for ourselves, others around us can definitely pick that up and will want to be around us is what it comes down to. All right, so next we have a few cards here from um, these, wait, which card, which deck did I pull from? I almost said something that, I, that it's not. Oh, the Sacred Creators Oracle deck. I was about to call it something else, which is not what it is. <laughs> so the Sacred Creators Oracle deck, and you guys have Creator Air. So... Um, you know, air. So that's like air signs, right? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And uh, we are currently in Gemini season, actually. So I guess that makes sense. Um, so with air signs, you know, the signs of air are basically all about our thoughts. It's about thinking. It's about communication, the way we express ourselves. Um, so it's, it's a lot of that, a lot of like that thinking kind of energy. It's very much up in your head kind of energy. So I feel like that means for the month of June, you may be more creative in terms of your thoughts, um, that what you think about may be a little bit more creative is what it comes down to. So, um, and that could be for a lot of different things. Like, let's say you're thinking about summer travel plans, you know, let's say you're thinking about 
planning a summer vacation. That means you may find yourself becoming very creative in terms of where to go and what that's going to look like and what that itinerary is going to be and that kind of thing. It may be more creative and more outside the box than a normal vacation, maybe, for example. Um, it, it could apply to work for that matter. You know, if you're someone who has to kind of come up with ideas when it comes to work, um, you know, different creative strategies and um, analysis and that kind of thing when it comes to work. Like the creativity could just be flowing on the thought front when it comes to work. So, um, you know, once again, this could be applied in a lot of different areas of life, whether it's personally or professionally, but it's just, it's big idea energy. It's big idea energy. It's big thinking energy. So June could definitely be the month where just like big ideas hit you. And I feel like even if it seems a little out of this world, even if it feels a little outlandish, you should do it. You should pursue it. I feel like that this is the time, this is the moment to really get serious about those ideas that come into your mind. So um, it's kind of a green light here when it comes to big picture thinking. So it's not going to be so much about the details, I feel, but definitely big picture, big picture thoughts soul on fire. I love that. So we've also got some of that fire energy coming in too. Um, so yeah, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Um, we've got some of that fire energy coming in. So, uh, you know, once again, maybe the air energy and maybe the fire energy, maybe it represents different aspects also of your own personal birth chart. Maybe you have some of these placements in your chart and, you know, maybe you're an air heavy kind of person or a fire heavy kind of person in your birth chart. So that could be a possibility as well, just to kind of like confirm the message, obviously. But as for soul on fire, like when I see this card, our soul is like our being, it's our presence. You know, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. So you know, while these bodies are like rental cars, basically, and we have them today, we're not going to have them forever, obviously, but our soul lives on. Our soul lives forever. It's eternal. It has no beginning. It has no end is what it comes down to, right? Um, so I feel like this card specifically is saying, do what lights you up on the inside, do what gives your heart that sparkle is what it comes down to. Because you know what? Once again, this physical body that we're in, we have it on loan. We don't have it forever. Um, so that means life is short. Life is short. And even if we've been here many times before, and even if we come back many times after, this one specific lifetime, though, we are only living this one this one time. And life is too short to waste any of these lives doing anything that we don't care about and doing anything that we're doing out of obligation or out of boredom or any of those kinds of things. We should be doing things that light our soul on fire, that bring that sparkle into our heart. So I feel like you're going to be pursuing that a lot more often in the month of June. And that could be born coming out of some of these big ideas here with the creator air energy. We also have collaboration of souls. So as these big ideas hit you and you're like, you know, I need to start doing the things that light my soul up. I need to start doing the things that bring that sparkle to my heart. You may realize that you can't necessarily do that alone. And most of the time we can't, um, you know, as human beings, we are social creatures. We're not meant to walk life alone. Now, does that mean that we need to like bow down to societal conditioning or any of those kinds of things? Of course not. But I do feel like we do need to find our soul tribe. We need to find community, people that we can do life with, people who um, will love us and encourage us and support us and that we can in exchange also love and encourage and support that we genuinely want to do those things for one another. People that we can laugh with, people we can cry with, people that we can 
be silly and ridiculous with and at the same time have like deep in-depth like soul level type of conversations um so i feel like you're you're going to realize that as you move forward with these big ideas and the things that light your soul up on fire um that you're going to need a team you're going to need a team to kind of like go hand in hand with and i feel like that you guys will be working together as a collective as a group to make those big ideas happen and to follow the things that light your soul up on fire. I mean, most likely whoever you're collaborating with here, they're also going to share the visions that you have in your mind. And they're also going to be interested in those same exact things that you are in terms of what's bringing that sparkle to your heart. It, chances are it's going to bring a sparkle to their heart too. Um, so that's really exciting. That's so much like good and positive stuff happening here. Um, finally, you guys, I have a few cards from my own Oracle deck, uh, in my feels for a little bit of input here when it comes to, uh, what's happening for you guys this summer. So our first card is a critical card, <laughs> picky, uh, demanding, and this one's a no card. Um, each each one of these cards, just so you guys know, they each come with a yes, no, or maybe message attached to the emotion that is involved. So this is very interesting because we've obviously had all this very positive energy coming in for the month of June. So when I see this critical card coming through, I feel like this is a reminder from Spirit to basically not do this. Like that's why we have that no, like no. Don't do this. Don't get critical. Um, because exploring all this can be very exciting, obviously. But when we are having big ideas, especially, and we are starting to move so more so into the things that light our soul up on fire, when we start following our passions and our dreams and connecting with like hearted people and stuff like that, we can almost like have a little hiccup and trip ourselves up and second guess and doubt and be just like, wait a minute, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Is this too much? Like, is this realistic? Is this feasible? We may doubt it is what it comes down to and critique it. And a lot of that probably extends out of past experiences and societal conditioning and, um, you know, all that kind of stuff that you're basically breaking off of you is what it comes down to. So this is basically here just to remind you guys to not not do that to yourself. Be kind to yourself and love yourself and embrace these awesome experiences that are going to be coming your way in June. So rather than be critical of yourself, stay focused, centered, concentrate on the target, maybe. So I feel like this is what you're actually supposed to be doing. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted by your own internal critic. Um, keep your eye on the prize is what it comes down to. Keep your eye on the prize in the month of June. So, um, you know, once again, you might be tempted to be just like, oh my gosh, is this too good to be true? Should I really be doing this? The answer is yes. So stay focused on that. Stay focused on the path at hand stressed out, burnt out, frazzled, no. So I feel like this is where that avocado card is coming from because usually we wind up having to hit some kind of breaking point where we kind of have to stop and be just like, wait a minute, I need to take care of myself. I'm of no good to anyone else, personally, professionally, or otherwise, if I am burnt out, if I am stressed out, if I I'm just like way too overburdened. I need to take a step back and I need to dial it in just for myself and take care of me. So I feel like that's why we have that avocado card here happening from the beginning. So this may actually be more so like the end of May energy, I feel, with the stressed out card. This may be how you're leaving May. You may be feeling leaving May feeling stressed out like, this is not sustainable. I can't continue this way into June. I don't want to continue this way into summertime. 
um, I need to shift gears here. I need to do something different. So I feel like you're going to be coming out of that stressed out energy and entering more so into this avocado self-care energy, which is going to prove to be very rejuvenating and refreshing as it ultimately winds up ushering all this good stuff in after the fact. And finally, we have the creative card, visionary, gifted, prolific, yes. So I feel like this creative card is kind of like the perfect period at the end of the sentence, basically. It is the perfect way to summarize and wrap up your guys' reading because whatever this is over here with the big ideas and following the things that light your heart up, that light your soul up, basically, and collaborating with others who are like-hearted in that with you, um, I feel like that's all rooted in creativity, that most likely the people you're going to be collaborating with and connecting with they're probably going to be just as creative as you it's going to be like a whole bunch of creative people getting together you know think of like music artists for example when they collaborate and you know songwriters write a song together and then the performers go out there and they do their thing and everything else that is a collaboration of creativity maybe it's going to be something like that for you too maybe it'll be music maybe it'll be something else altogether but I definitely feel like you're going to be tapping into that creative energy. Um, so I wouldn't get overly analytical or critical on it. This is not going to be about number crunching. This is not going to be about spreadsheets and facts and figures. It's probably going to look a little bit more abstract than that. But it's going to be very fun, very exciting. Um, and I feel like you guys are pretty much on your way to a really successful and happy illuminating June. So I'm definitely excited for you guys. This looks like a really fun time. I would love to hear from you, you know, towards the end of June as we head into July, um, if any of this stuff wound up actually manifesting and happening. So uh, come back and, and visit this video again at the end of June and let me know. Anyways, that's what I have happening for you guys for your June 2024 pick a card reading. As always, if the message did not apply, let it fly. But if it did make sense, you will know why. Um, before we wrap things up here today, I just want to ask you guys really quickly to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. That helps me out a lot right here on the YouTube algorithm. And once again, if I resonated with you as a reader, if this made sense for you, um, I invite you to go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell at this time. By doing that, you will be up to date and in the know once again every time a brand new reading winds up being posted or anytime I wind up going live. And like I said, I'm trying to do that more often to do free card polls for people, kind of give people a more uh, personal look into me and who I am and basically what I'm all about here <laughs> and just spend time hanging out with you guys and everything. So uh, yeah, so I want to invite you guys to do that as well. As always, if you are interested in a personal reading, and, you know, personal readings are obviously much more in-depth than what we have going on here with just like a general collective reading. It's also a lot more than a one-card poll that I would do for free during a live as well um, because that's just a one-card poll. Um, it could leave things hanging in a sense still where it's just like, but I need more information. That's a great way to get more information, obviously, is by doing um, a personal reading. So if you're interested in a personal reading or if you're interested in purchasing one of my Oracle decks like this one right here in my feels, you can find that over on shadowandshine.com and you are welcome to check both of those things out or anything else that you would like. And finally, you guys, I want to invite you over to my Patreon to hang out. Daily card polls, weekly card polls, um, there's a Discord server there, so you can find maybe people you want to collaborate with, for example. Um, but yeah, I invite you guys to hang out with me over on 
Patreon as well. It's a fun community and I would love to see you there. So that's pretty much everything that I have here going on for you guys. Of course, links to my website, my Patreon, and all my other socials are right down there in the description box down below. And I am wishing you guys a very abundant and blessed, wonderful, and amazing June. I am sending you guys lots of hugs and much love. Keep sparkling. Hi, Pile 2. If you chose this clear quartz tower, then this is going to be the reading for you to find out what is in store for you June 2024. All right, so uh, let's get into it. Let's see what you guys need to know. So since we are officially getting into summer here, we're going to start off with the ice cream oracle because whenever I think of summer, I think of deliciously sweet cold ice cream on like a hot summer night or something like that. So this deck is always fitting to me at least when it comes to the warmer months of the year. So let's see what you guys got. First up we have fig. Don't ask me how a fig is an ice cream flavor but in this case it is apparently. Okay, so the fig card says abundance, fertility, and expansion. So you guys could be seeing some serious abundance coming in in the month of June. Things could be multiplying. There could be additives, basically. Um, so this could be financial abundance. It could be an abundance of knowledge, an abundance of love, an ab abundance of... Um, friendship and abundance, you know, just wherever you're seeking abundance is what it comes down to. I also think it's interesting here. It says fertility. So the abundance could be maybe revolving around expanding your family. Um, you know, for example, if you plan on having a baby, if you've been trying for a baby or something like that, um, you may wind up becoming pregnant in the month of June. That could be a very high possibility. And we also have expansion here. So, you know, once again, that could be like expanding your family. Um, I'm sorry, Shadow is barking in the background. He's been doing that like all day. Shadow, hey, shh, come here, come here. Maybe you're gonna be expanding your family by getting a dog. <laughs> That could be possible too. Um, he is, you know, one of my two kids here out of my two dogs. Um, so, you know, if you're a dog mom, you know how that goes. No, can you go under the, under the table, please? And into the bed? Yeah. Why don't you lay down in the bed and relax? All right. You don't have to be acting like you're the security guard right now. <laughs> Everything's fine. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, you know, if, if it's not a human child, like I said, maybe that's the reason why Shadow is chiming in there and barking. Maybe maybe you're going to be expanding your family with a new furry family member, uh, with a fur baby. That could be possible, too. But yeah, we definitely have expansion here. Um, this could even be maybe abundance and expansion, even in regards to your home. I know the summer months, the warmer months are usually a high traffic time in terms of moving. A lot of people move during this season, whether it's short distance, long distance, or anything in between. So maybe you're going to be moving during the month of June. You could be moving into a new place. It could be a bigger place. You could be expanding. Um, maybe you're going to be moving in with someone else or someone could be moving in with you and that could be like adding more people to your household so this could be a couple of different things so i would say definitely take it where it resonates and and it makes sense the most in your life but there's definitely going to be some expansion things are going to be growing is what it comes down to and there's going to be abundance so that's very exciting um Definitely seems like it's going to be a little bit of a, of a season of change, but I would say season of change for the better, for positive, that's for sure. Nothing, nothing there regarding lack. <laughs> um, we also have grape prophe prophecies, spirits, and magic. 
Um, so interesting. I feel like this card is actually going to be more so seeing manifestations actually come to fruition. Seeing manifestations actually um, achieve a phys physicalization. Shadow, stop. I mean it. Like, every time I talk to you guys, like, Kyle 1, he was beautiful. He was quiet. Um, I don't know why he's so mouthy right now with you guys. Come on. Come here. I told you. under Underneath the desk, please, and into the bed. Your sister is being quiet. I need you to be quiet, too. Okay? Quiet. Quiet. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Um, he's just... No. I need you to be quiet. <laughs> I need you to be quiet. Come on. Lay down. Relax. Lay down. Sorry, you guys. Um, I, I'm just going to keep on pressing through here. Hopefully, he settles down. Um, but yeah, anyways, with prophecies and magic, I feel like this is basically saying that I feel like there are things in the past leading up to this month, before this month, things that have been kind of prophesized in a sense for you, about you, um, dreams that you've been waiting to have come to fruition, things that you've been waiting to actually materialize in the physical realm. I feel like those things are going to be happening this month. So it's like the prophecies of the past, they're going to be coming true. And I feel like that's kind of where that ties in with that fig card, basically implying that those dreams are going to be taking place in reality, uh, that that expansion, that that abundance is actually going to be happening. Um, and with spirits and magic here, I feel like it's basically saying that as this happens, as these things unfold, as these occurrences take place, it's going to feel very magical. It might almost feel surreal just because I feel like these are things that you have been praying for, petitioning for, that you've been affirming for, that um, you've been working really hard at manifesting. And I feel like these are uh, things that are going to be coming true, manifesting, that you've been working very hard for. I'm sorry. I'm not laughing at you guys. I'm laughing at Shadow. I feel like he's trying to manifest driving me crazy right now. <laughs> Kids, right? Kids. Um, okay, let's see what your last ice cream oracle card is. We have the rainbow, uh, self-expression, diversity, and pride. Now, obviously, June actually is pride month. It is pride month, and this, this is, kind, I guess you could say this is kind of like the LGBTQ plus card of the deck. Um, because it does mention pride. We do have the rainbow here. So I feel like with all of that being referenced, um, I feel like if you are an LGBTQ plus type person, um, this could be in reference to you. This could be a signal to you saying like, hey, this is, this is your group. This is your pile, basically. It could just be confirming that. Um, but if that doesn't apply to you, perhaps you're an ally, uh, maybe you're a friend to those who are um, LGBTQ+. Um, I, I know there, there are, like there's other ones beyond that, but the, the alphabet of it gets so long, I don't, I don't know where we're at anymore. But um, <laughs> I feel like um, either you're probably one of them or you're probably a friend or an ally to one of them. Uh, but aside from that, this card also rep um, references self-expression and diversity. So I feel like um, you are someone who definitely expresses yourself. You're probably going to be doing a lot of self-expression throughout the month of June. And as for diversity, um, you know, I feel like that basically implies the fact that you are probably someone who is very open, you are very receptive, you're not narrow-minded. So I feel like regardless of where you come from, regardless of your background and who you are and what you look like and all these other different things, I feel like it doesn't matter to you where someone else is from, what they look like, what their background is, whether they're poor, whether they're rich, whether they're male, whether they're female, whether they're young, whether they're old. Like, I feel like you just embrace 
all walks of life is what it comes down to. You embrace all walks of life and that you have an appreciation and enjoyment for those differences, that you don't see those things as scary or bad or wrong or any of those kinds of things, that you see the beauty and um, the beauty and appreciation in all of it, that you, you can love people for exactly who they are and where they're at, even if it's night and day different from you. So that's, that's definitely a beautiful thing, a beautiful thing to have there. All right. So next we have a few cards from the Sacred Creators Oracle deck. And you guys have Welcome the Divine Masculine. Interesting. So you guys could be tapping more so into your masculine energy this month. Um, so masculine energy, which is interesting. I feel like feminine and masculine energy is very much so like hot topics lately because you know, you have the divine masculine, the divine feminine, and then you have the wounded masculine and the wounded feminine. And I feel like there can also be a lot of like toxic masculinity that plays into like the divine masculine and everything. But at its core, at its core, the divine, healthy, evolved masculine, he is a protector. He is a provider. Um, but not in like a, a toxic, you know, alpha kind of way or anything like that, but in a healthy way um, where he also, you know, kind of lets people be who they are, not like controlling or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it's basically someone who is a protector, who is a provider, someone who is a leader, but a fair and just leader, someone that you can count on, someone that you feel safe with. Um the divine masculine is someone who is a doer. You know, they get things done is what it comes down to. And they don't just get it done in like their own namesake or whatever, but they get things done truly for the benefit of like their tribe or their family or, you know, whoever, whoever it is that's surrounding them in that group is what it comes down to. So you could be tapping into some of your own, divine masculine energy because we all carry both feminine and masculine energy and there are um, seasons and times to embrace each of those energies you know it is the yin and the yang and they they ultimately are there to support one another is what it comes down to they are supposed to be an equal thing um, <laughs> at least in the healthy levels of it so you could definitely be tapping more so into that masculine energy I feel like protecting providing doing leading a lot of those kinds of things and if it's not that then i feel that there could be someone around you in june someone in your life who could be embracing that divine masculine energy who could be um, very much so a present force in your life and be a big part of june basically coming up like for example if you are in a twin flame dy dynamic um and I know a lot of the times, you know, it's like the divine feminine who's usually tuning into these videos. So if you have a divine masculine, this could be a signal that you could be connecting with your divine masculine, for example, at some point during the month of June, um, that he could be a big part of the, uh, wow, that was loud. Uh, my neighbor was just like stomping upstairs. Um, but the, the, the divine masculine could be a big part of the abundance that could be coming in. Um, he could be one of the prophecies that's coming in in the month of June. Um, and who knows? Like I said, if like having a family, having babies is a part of it, it could be implying fertility in regards to making a baby with your divine masculine. That could be a part of it as well. Um, so a lot of different potentials there. Once again, it is a general reading. So take the points and the aspects that obviously make the most sense for your life. Um, all right. Next card from the sacred creators. We have the now. This is such a powerful card. Um, I feel like in the month of June, this is a reminder from spirit that you really need to be in the present moment just stay in the present moment live in the now um, as human beings 
it is so easy for us to get all wrapped up in the past or the future. Um, if you if you notice, most of the time when we're feeling almost kind of like a melancholy type of depression, it's usually because we are reflecting on something dealing with the past. That doesn't mean that all past memories, of course, bring in depression because that's not true. But usually if we are feeling depressed, it it can usually be tied to something happening regarding the past. Um, on the flip side, though, if we are feeling anxiety, anxiety usually comes from the fear of the unknown. And when we're experiencing the fear of the unknown, we are focused on the future. We're scared of the future. It's kind of like that feeling of feeling like we are out of control because we can't control the future. And that's true. We can't. Um, the only thing that we have control over is ourselves and our own mind, our own body, our own thoughts, our own ideas, our own emotions. We only have control of that. And we only have control of that in the present moment. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm saying I feel like spirit is really reminding you that it is going to be very valuable and very important for you to stay in the present moment, stay present tense throughout the month of June. Um, it's tempting to leap into the past or into the future, but I feel like at least in regards to the events that's going to be coming up for you throughout June and the different things you're going to have to navigate, it's going to be most beneficial for your mindset, for your mind frame to stay in that present moment. Um, so just a little tip, a little suggestion there. And we have changes. I was definitely picking up on that vibe, definitely, without a doubt. Because if we are having prophecies manifest and come to fruition in the month of June, even if they're positive changes, even if they're good things, like seeing some kind of abundance and expansion come along and happen. So even if it's good changes, um, even positive changes can be stressful. Um, you know, most of the time we associate stress to negative things, obviously, but all the positive things can bring about stress as well. You know, think about it. Um, once again, we have fertility there. So I'm going to go with the baby example. Having a baby, that can be stressful. Uh, there's a lot of nesting that goes into that, a lot of preparation, a lot of doctor's appointments. Um you know, it's it's literally bringing another human being into the world. So even though it's a beautiful thing, it's a wonderful, happy occasion, it's a blessing, it's also stressful. <laughs> There's a lot that comes along with it. Same thing with weddings, for example. You know, two people merging their lives together, their households together, all that stuff that takes a lot of energy, that takes a lot of work. Um, same thing for moving. And, you know, I, I myself, I have moved um, a couple of times within the past three years now. Um, yeah, three years ago in 2021, I left LA after living there for 15 years and I moved back to Chicago for a hot minute. And then last year I left Chicago and I moved here to Colorado. And I mean, any kind of move is stressful, even if it's just like across the street, any kind of move is stressful. Anything that involves boxes and packing and unpacking is all stressful. Obviously, the, the bigger the move, the more long distance it is, the more stressful it can be. Probably also same, same so with um, size. You know, it's going to be a lot easier to move like a one-bedroom apartment as opposed to like a four-bedroom house, for example. Um, but it's so stressful. It's so stressful. Even if, even if moving is a, a good thing, even if like maybe you're upgrading and you're going from like an apartment to a house or something like that and you're expanding, it's still stressful. So once again, these are all positive things. These are all good things. Starting a new job, for example, that can be stressful because it's like the unknown. Like, oh my gosh, is this going to go okay? Am I going to be able to do my job well and everything? All those things, positive things, good things, but they come with stress. So I do feel like the pressure is going to be on, but I do feel like it's all going to be good changes. It's going to be things that you want, but um, 
it's also going to feel like a little bit of a roller coaster ride at the same time. So, um, okay, we have a few more cards to get into here. Now we have some cards from my own Oracle deck in my feels. And let's see what you guys need to know. We have the dirty card, repulsive, nasty, no, um, interesting. So I feel like with this card being here, especially in regards to like all this change and all this transformation that's going to be happening for you in June, I feel like it's important to keep things clean. This is kind of like a reminder to not allow there to be buildup in a sense. Um, so, you know, this doesn't have to necessarily be like physical filth. Like I know the card is disgusting, obviously. We're looking at dirty feet. It's nasty. I don't feel like you guys are going to be doing that with your feet. Um, however, that can happen to you in Manhattan if you're walking around Manhattan in the summertime in flip-flops. That's literally happened to me before there. Um, and I learned my lesson really quick to not wear flip-flops <laughs> in the summertime in New York City. Um, but anyways, I was going to say that... Um, that, yeah, I feel like this could be, like, emotional, spiritual buildup. Um, that could easily happen, once again, if you kind of get lost in traveling in your mind to the past or into the future. I feel like that's kind of where the dirt and grime could kind of build up emotionally, mentally, and spiritually if you're not living in the now, for example. So I feel like that's just kind of there to, like, take notice and be just like, hey... Make sure you're like cleansing your thoughts, cleansing, cleansing your aura, clean, cleansing your spirit. Um, especially if like you do wind up moving, for example, cleanse your space, cleanse your house, like quite literally, physically kind of a thing. We also have genuine, um, honest, truthful, yes. So keep it real. Keep it real through the month of June. Um, I feel like this is a reminder about honesty and just, you know, being honest about where you're at in the month of June, because I feel like you guys are going to have a lot going on. Once again, there's going to be a lot of changes happening. And um, I feel like because of that, there are going to be moments where you guys are probably going to be super excited and ecstatic and elated about these things. But then there are probably also going to be moments where you might feel frustrated, you might feel tired, you might feel stressed out. So I feel like this card is basically saying, like, just keep it real through all the ups and downs, through all the different emotions that you may feel through the month of June. Be honest in that expression, you know, share that, you know, we do have self-expression here with the rainbow um, ice cream card. So just remember, like, keep it real. Keep that self-expression real. You know, don't just like fake it till you make it in a sense. Um, if you're genuinely struggling and maybe you just need someone to vent to, do that. Um, and sometimes that's all we need. Sometimes we just have to get out what we need to say. And then after we say it, we feel better and that's done. It may not even necessarily be about needing to receive advice or suggestions or guidance. You may not even necessarily need that. You may just need to voice what you need to say and be honest in that moment and be genuine and real and authentic about it. And then you'll be able to move on and move forward. And we have cute, we have the cute card here. <laughs> um, adorable, charming. So, and this is a yes card. Um, all, all of these, the cards here from my own Oracle deck, they all come with a yes, no, or maybe a message attached to the emotion involved. I forgot to mention that as I started with these. Um, anyways, out of In My Feels. This is honestly my favorite card from this deck because it is personal to me. Um, this is Tinkerbell. <laughs> this is Tinkerbell, my, my own little girl, and she is wrapped up in a blank or not a blanket a a towel this was after a bath that she took after one of our hikes because the dogs get pretty dirty after we've been out on hikes and everything so they get baths when we come home and this was her after one of our baths and i thought she was so cute and she was so adorable that it just made perfect sense to make her the cute card for this deck um but anyways, I think it's really funny because she does look like a little bundle of joy here. She does look like a little baby. 
And this could be kind of a confirmation here about that fertility baby thing. And if it's not for like a human baby, it could be confirmation of that fur baby coming along into your life. So I feel like it, it's definitely confirming one of those two types of things happening. And finally, we have youthful, inexperienced, immature, maybe. Um, so I feel like this card, I, it's not that it's saying that you are immature or anything like that, but I do feel like it is saying that um, it could be a couple of different things. Number one, you could be young yourself. You could like quite literally physically in terms of your own age, you could be young. Um, if not, you could be someone who is definitely young at heart and feels very youthful. You could feel young on the inside. You could exude youth on the outside regardless of your age. And um, in terms of inexperience, I don't necessarily get the vibe that you guys are inexperienced because you do have all these changes happening this month. I feel like if you have felt unexperienced in your life leading up to this, that that's probably going to change, that there's going to be some growth and maturity that's coming along here because of all the changes that are happening. But overall, I feel like, you know, it's just tapping into that energy of youth. Um, you could also have young people that are around you in your life. You know, we've got kids here. So again, it could be Im implying when it comes to like fertility, like having a kid of your own, like obviously it would be a baby first. It wouldn't just like magically be a kid unless you were like adopting and you were adopting someone who was already a child and not a baby. That could be a possibility too. But um, it could be talking about you once again, having a kid or if there are other kids in your life, it could be referencing them. Like if you have nieces or nephews or something like that. Um, but there's definitely this element of youth that is happening here during the month of June. So, um, but yeah, so that's basically what I have for you guys and what you need to know and what is happening for you throughout the month of June. So it sounds like there's going to be a lot of changes taking place. Um, I would be curious to know if you are anticipating any um transitions, transformations, big changes coming up, whether it's babies, weddings, relationships, jobs, moving, whatever it is. I'm curious to know. So let me know in the comments. Um, anyways, yeah, that's what I have for you guys. So if the message didn't apply, then just let it fly. But if it did make sense, of course, you will know why. Um, you are you. <laughs> Anyways, as I wrap this video up, you guys, I would just ask you to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. It helps me out here on the YouTube algorithm. It helps push this video out to be seen even more so than it already is. Um, also, if you enjoyed this reading and you would like to join the Shadow and Shine family here, I invite you to go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. By hitting the notification bell, you will be up to date and in the know every time I upload brand new readings, such as the one I've done today. You will also get notifications when I wind up going live. Um, so that's honestly the best way to know when I go live. And that's, that's probably one of the best times to come and check me out and hang out and say hi and get a little card poll and get involved in the community. Um, so yeah, I definitely invite you to go ahead and do that. And also drop me a comment down below. Don't be shy. Feel free to say hi. I would love to hear from you, obviously. And um, yeah, so that's basically that. And once again, you guys, if I really, really resonate with you as a reader, I invite you to check out my website, shadowandshine.com. It is basically your one-stop shop for everything. So if you're interested in a personal reading, because remember, this is a general reading, is, you know, for the collective, a number of people. When you get a free card poll during a live, it's just one card. It's not super in-depth and detailed, so if there's more to get into, obviously ordering your own personal reading is the best way to do that. So I would invite you to check out my website for that, 
And also, if you enjoyed this Oracle deck in my feels, you can find that over there on my website as well. You can take this home and own it for yourself, as well as several other Oracle decks that I have available for purchase over there. And um, finally, you guys, I would love to have you join us over on Patreon. Patreon is such a fun community. There's daily card polls, weekly card polls, and so much more. There's a Discord server to connect with other people and to find your soul tribe. So um, I would definitely love to have you guys join us over there. Um, otherwise, that's basically it. So links to my website, Patreon, and all my other socials are, again, down in the description box below. And I am wishing you guys, obviously, a very abundant <laughs> and blessed and beautiful June up ahead. I am sending you guys lots of hugs and much love. Keep sparkling. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose the Mystery Aura Quartz, like I said, I'm sure it's some kind of Aura Quartz, that is a very pale blue color then this is going to be the reading for you to find out what is in store for you June 2024. Let's do this and get into it. Okay, so we're going to start off here with your ice cream oracle cards. I love using the ice cream oracle deck during the summertime because it just makes sense, you know? You got summer, hot nights, you got sweet, cold ice cream. It all adds up, right? All right, so let's see what your first card is. First up, you guys have the Neapolitan. Collaboration, teamwork, resourcefulness. So it seems like you guys are probably going to have a pretty busy June. Um, definitely not by yourself. Definitely not isolated and definitely not alone. That your June is going to consist collaborating with others, working together with others, um, definitely connecting with others, period. Um, teamwork, that kind of stuff. Now, take this in whatever area of life that makes sense for you. This could be at work. This could be on the job. Um, even if you work, like, independently. Speaking of teamwork, <laughs> um, there's a circus happening behind me. Uh, my dogs are <laughs> collaborating right now as we speak in terms of playing and they're like playing tug of war with their toys right now. Um, so that's why I'm like, what is that noise? What is that commotion behind me? But it's them. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, hey, you know, teamwork could even be something like that. Teamwork doesn't necessarily have to be a work thing. It could be a fun thing, too, for that matter. Um, <laughs> so maybe that's a little extra note from the dogs, considering they're doing this as I'm talking about this card. Uh, but I was going to say, at least in regards to work, that even if you like don't work for someone else or you don't have like a group of people or a team of people that you work with, even if you work more so independently or by yourself, for yourself, that kind of thing, um, there's always ways to connect with other people and still collaborate, even if you do it independently. So... Um, it could be something like that happening at work. Like I just said, it could be something um, extracurricular or something dealing with um, just having fun, something dealing with downtime, um, hobbies and interests and that kind of thing. Just like my dogs clearly have the hobby and interest of their toys right now. <laughs> so either way, it seems like it's definitely going to be a very social June, that's for sure. Um, let's see what else we need to know. What else are we going to get here from the Ice Cream Oracle? Charcoal licorice. And this sounds absolutely disgusting, at least in terms of an ice cream flavor. Um, some of them are pretty normal, like the Neapolitan. And some of them are super weird, like this one. Um, 
<laughs> but it says innovation, invention, revolution. So at least the message behind it is a positive one, despite the flavor being disgusting. Um, so this definitely gives me insight into our collaboration and teamwork here from the Neapolitan. The most likely the ways that you will be collaborating with others is going to be towards innovation and revolution, um, like basically brand spanking new ideas, inventing different things. Um, I know, I know a lot of people right now are very frustrated, like with the economy and our government and, um, you know, it just, in a lot of ways, it feels like even when you submit your vote and that kind of thing, that it, it doesn't really matter. Like it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Um, it's very hard to see innovation and transformation um, out of like a two-party system and stuff like that. Not to get all political here on you guys, but I do feel like there is a lot of that happening right now just in the collective and something we've all been really kind of awakening to and struggling with and trying to navigate. So I feel like this could be some, like there could be something politically tied here is what I'm saying. Um, even if it's on a small scale, um, it just could be like local within your community, within your work, um, however that is. But I feel like you might be collaborating with others to help bring about that revolution um because obviously it's kind of like that einstein quote you know if you keep if you keep repeating the same thing oh, how's that quote go um it's something about like if you're expecting change but you keep doing the same thing over and over again like that's the definition of insanity so i feel like you've kind of realized that doing the same thing over and over again is insanity. It's not actually doing anything. It's not improving anything. It's not changing anything. So I feel like you and probably like-minded people will be gathering together over the course of the month of June to just that brainstorm ways to bring about changes and revolution and, um, you know, innovate things, you know, bring about new beginnings and probably better ways of, of things, you know, it could be about ultimately destroying, taking down, deconstructing old systems and creating newer and better and healthier systems that are going to be beneficial for more people than where we're at right now. And why are you two walking around here sniffing? Go, go play, go play. I have two very nosy dogs over here right now. I told you guys I was going to do this. I gave you both treats before I did this. You've had dinner. Now go play. <laughs> Kids, right guys? Kids. Um, okay. Your third ice cream oracle card. Chocolate vanilla swirl. Complementary opposites. Fairness, equality. Again, you guys, I'm getting really strong, like, political, social justice warrior kind of vibes from this group. Um, and it's interesting here with this chocolate vanilla swirl. You know, it does say complementary opposites. So this gives me an idea of the kinds of people that you're going to be collaborating with. Tinkerbell, please don't cry. Do, you, do I need to pick you up? Hold on, I gotta pick her up. Come here, come here, I'm not mad at you. Why are you crying? I'm not mad. I, I gotta do this pick a card, you guys. I'm not, I'm not mad at you. She's like whining at me, but I, I thought maybe she wanted me to pick her up. Apparently she doesn't, I don't know what she wants. Um, anyways, yeah, getting back to this chocolate vanilla swirl, I feel like um, most likely the people that you're going to be collaborating with, the people that you're going to be, um, stepping out and brainstorming these changes with, they're probably going to be people who are different from you. 
Um, they're, they're probably going to look different. They may have different backgrounds than you. They may be at a different economic status than you, education level than you, different gender, um, you know, different everything. You know, they could be from a different place. But bottom line is, I feel like whoever it is that you're going to be collaborating with, they're going to be different than you. And I think that's a beautiful thing because if you have different types of people with different stories and backgrounds and experiences all coming together with a common interest and a common good, um, that shows that it's not, it's not trying to cater to one group of people. It's showing that it's, um, it's well-rounded, it's fair, it's not exclusive, it's including people, it's, ex it's inclusive, if anything. Um, so yeah, I feel like these are the kinds of people you're going to be collaborating with. There, that's not to say that you won't be collaborating with anyone who, who is like you. You could be collaborating with people who are like you as well, but I definitely feel like it's going to be a very mixed bag, that there's going to be lots of different types. But either way, you guys are going to have um, the same heart interest is what it comes down to. So between the chocolate swirl, the, the charcoal licorice, and the Neapolitan, you know, you put all three of these together, like I said, it, it kind of screams social, social justice. It screams tearing down the old cycles, the old ways of doing things, and coming together with all kinds of different people, but you guys have, like, like I said, the same heart goals, the same heart interests, and ultimately coming up with brand new ways of doing things, brand new systems, brand new everything that is going to be beneficial for majority of people as opposed to, um, you know, one small minority of people, which is kind of what we have in place today. Um, so that's really cool. I'm really excited for you guys. Um, yeah, my social justice warriors here. Okay. So it seems like you guys are getting getting ready. I know it's June, but it's like you guys are getting ready for even beyond June when we start getting into like election season or something like that. Um, okay, so next up we have some cards from the Sacred Creators Oracle deck. And we have Manifesting and Doing. So this tells me that you guys are going to be doing a combination of this throughout the month of June. Um, you know, manifestation practices are, of course, always helpful and beneficial. They're not harmful, that's for sure. So what I mean by that, when I, when I say manifestation practices, I mean like journaling or, you know, just simply like affirming a positive statement about yourself when you like wake up in the morning and you look at yourself in the mirror kind of a thing, um, visualization, um, you know, all, all those different practices. There's lots of different practices you can put into place when it comes to manifestation. Um, but again, if that's all you do and you don't put action behind those intentions, then the manifestations may just kind of sit on the shelf and they may never actually actualize. Um, so it is a combination. You got to do as well. Now, of course, you could flip it around and just do, do, do. But if you do, do, do without the intention, without the affirmations, um, that's not to say you can't achieve anything, but it may be, may be more challenging. It may be more difficult. There may be delays and setbacks and all the other kind of stuff. There may be um, obstacles and hiccups that come along. So it's usually best if you combine those two things and you put them together. Um, you put them together, and that's a pretty unstoppable force. So I feel like you're going to be doing a healthy combination of both of these together over the summer. Most likely, it's probably going to have a lot to do with this theme of justice going on here, collaborating with others. And let's see what your next Sacred Creators card is. Overrate your intuition. Okay. 
this card is telling me that you guys shouldn't doubt yourselves. So trust your gut. Um, you know, intuition is a tricky thing. You, you know, our gut instinct can kind of like tell us something one way or another you know sometimes it can be a warning like you know don't do this or don't get involved with this person or whatever and then other times it can be giving us the green light like yes this is a great opportunity you should go for this so on and so forth and um you know usually out of like our own fears and anxieties and previous experiences will will doubt that will doubt our intuition and then we'll wind up pursuing the relationship with the person who is the red flag that our intuition told us was not a good idea or will bail and we'll skip out on the opportunity that our intuition told us to go for but we doubted ourselves so we didn't wind up pursuing it um don't let that happen to you this june because your intuition is on point. It's more in sync and in tune than you guys realize. Um, so don't doubt it. Uh, yeah, like intuition, it's, it's a psychic thing. But the truth is, is like everyone has this muscle. Everyone has psychic abilities and everyone has intuition. It kind of goes hand in hand. But it's a spiritual muscle. Um, and just like with any muscle, you know, this is one that's not visible, it's not physical, it's not tangible, like an arm muscle or something like that, but it's a muscle nonetheless. And the more you work it out, the more fit it's going to be, the more in tune you're going to be with it. Um, so yeah, I feel like you guys definitely work that muscle out. So trust it. Um, it's in good shape. It's in good shape. It's not, it's not flabby intuition <laughs> is what it comes down to. And then we have bliss is worth creating. Not from, not for, from. That's interesting. Um, it's like cross, these two words are crossed out. Um, bliss is worth creating from. So I feel like ultimately, did someone come over here? Oh yeah, Tinker Tinkerbell decided to get into the bed underneath the uh, desk here. <laughs> Anyways, um, when we are creating from a blissful state when we are creating from a place of joy and peace and happiness from something that feels good we're not creating from fear or doubt or insecurity or worry or any of those kinds of things we're creating from a positive place of light it's like it just opens up the path of path of possibilities for so many amazing things so I feel like as you move forward through the month of June and you're collaborating with others, you're coming up with ways to transform things and you're working together with, you know, all kinds of different people, you're manifesting, you're doing, you're, tr you're trusting and tapping into that intuition, you're ultimately creating from a place of bliss. Because it's like that bliss is going to be contagious. It's going to be a wild a wire, a wild fire. I apparently can't talk. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a wild fire, and it's just going to consume in a good way. You know, it's going to spread and it's going to consume to the others that you're working with and that you're collaborating with, and that ultimately is going to leak into your plans and the ways you're going to work on changing things. And ultimately, it's going to leak into the results and the betterment of humans as a whole is what it comes down to. So yes, create from that heart space. Create from that place of bliss and happiness. And if you're starting to feel like you're going into fear or doubt, take a step back. 
ground yourself, you know, maybe have a, a conversation with one of your collaborators um, because they'll give you support and encouragement. Of course, you guys are all going to be on the same page anyways with similar goals. Um, and I, I have my collaborators here by me. These dogs won't leave me alone. Um, when I am done with you guys as a pile, I have one more to do after you guys. And I am probably going to have to take a little break just to find out what's going on with these two. Yeah, because you guys won't leave me alone right now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, if you do start experiencing fear or doubt or insecurity or any of those kinds of things, I would say, um, you know, take a step back. Take a step back, kind of re-examine things a little bit, ground yourself, um, do a little self-care, and then revisit when you return to that blissful state, basically, so you can dive back into things and keep creating. And Tinkerbell is, is now in, on my lap. Here she is. She's saying hi. She's saying hi <laughs> because they won't get out of my face right now. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to hold her and do the rest of this with my other hand. Okay, so, oh, now we have In My Feels, which is my own Oracle deck. And your first card, which is really weird, it says Left Out, Excluded, Rejected, Abandoned. Which is very strange considering we have all this stuff here about collaboration and working with others. So this is what, this is my takeaway from this card because I know it seems very... Um, contradictory and hypocritical to what came through with the ice cream oracle, right? So what I'm getting from this is there may be a part of you that may be a little shy and timid, a little hesitant and apprehensive about getting involved with collaborating with others like this, because I feel like in the past, when you've tried to step out and do things like that, um, unfortunately, you have been excluded and you have been left out and that people haven't always been the nicest to you. And of course, that's a shame and that's horrible. And it's unfortunate if you went through that experience, but I feel like that's not going to happen to you this time. So if you're experiencing this fear that it's going to happen again, leave it behind. Just shake it off because these, these are lies is what it comes down to. It's lies from trauma. It's lies from stuff that hasn't been healed in the past. And I feel like getting together and collaborating with the right people and noticing how they're not going to leave you out will actually prove to be very healing for you. It's going to show you that like, hey, there are still good people out there that not everyone is like these other people in the past who have left me out. And I feel like one of the reasons they're not going to do this to you is because you guys are going to have that similar heart interest of wanting to create revolution, of wanting to create fairness and equality and inclusion for everyone. And if that's the goal... <laughs> Like being left out just isn't an option is what it comes down to. So try not to get worried about this. I really don't think that's going to happen. I feel like this is strictly fear speaking is what it comes down to. All right. You guys also have, oh my gosh, vengeful, spiteful, malicious. My goodness. Um, the cards from my deck are not <laughs> Not as bright and light and love as everything else was here. Um, okay, so again, maybe these cards are simply giving you the recommendation of what not to do. Obviously, I would not recommend uh, revenge and being spiteful and malicious in any reading, obviously. That would not be good. So with this, I would say, not that you have felt vengeful but if you have felt any anything gross and icky kind of like this once again it's time to dispose of that it's time to leave that i feel like this is kind of tied to that left out card um 
that either you were left out in the past because other people were vengeful towards you or maybe others leaving you out kind of made you feel vengeful in a sense towards them. Like I said, it's time to heal that. It's time to heal this stuff in June because there's going to be no room for that as you're moving forward to collaborate with others in some new opportunities here. They're going to be very healthy and healing and beneficial, I feel, for all. Then we have quiet, subdue, and soft. So with the quiet card, I feel like this card is basically... It's basically asking your mind to kind of quiet down is what it comes down to. Like, remember when I said earlier with the bliss card, create from a place of bliss? Um, in those moments, if you do start to feel fear and doubt and insecurity, obviously those are not places that you want to create from, right? So... In those moments when you are experiencing that, those are those moments when you do need to become quiet. And I don't mean like physically quiet, like you can't speak, but I mean like quieting your mind, um, quieting yourself in terms of like calming down. And that's where that grounding comes in. Um, you know, it's hard to ground yourself when you're kind of being all up in your head and listening to all the noise and the chatter in your brain, you have to quiet all of that. And the only way to do that is through some solid grounding, which may have to happen. And finally, you guys have overwhelmed, um, deeply affected. So with the overwhelmed card here, I feel like the prospect of doing all of this this summer may feel a little overwhelming. Maybe this is something that you've never done before, that you've never thought of entertaining. Um, so getting involved with an opportunity like this or a group like this, it may feel overwhelming. It just, it may feel, yeah, it just may feel really overwhelming, especially if you've never done anything like that before. You may not know necessarily what to expect. Um, but being overwhelmed doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. Um, we usually only feel overwhelmed if it's just a lot to kind of like process and digest and take in. So that's all it may be. It just may be a lot to process, digest, and take in. So take your time. You know, you also don't have to like dive into all of this and make a full bloom blown commitment and become like the president of the next revolution or anything like that. Like you don't have to do that. Um, you know, you can just dip your, your toe into the pool at first and just get used to the temperature of the water, especially if you are dealing with fears of, you know, not being accepted in this group and stuff like that. Um, like, and, and also if you're, you know, more of like an introverted person too, where maybe, Social situations can bring about some anxiety or um, your energy becomes drained really fast or any of those kinds of things. Like take your time, do it in small dosages, do it to the amount that you're comfortable with. And then when you've hit your limit, that's okay. Take a step back, quiet yourself down and revisit when your battery is more charged and you're ready to dive in and go again. And who knows, you know, the more that you do it, the more you may develop some endurance to be able to be involved in these types of social situations for even longer period of times. But yeah, it definitely seems like June for you guys at least is an opportunity to kind of step into your social justice warrior mode and definitely not on your own, definitely with others. Um, that's not to say it's not going to be intimidating and that it may not be a bit of a personal challenge and personal growth oriented related type of situation, but I feel like it's going to be really good for you guys in the end and healing for you and by it healing, by it being healing for you guys, it'll wind up being beneficial to go even beyond yourself and healing for 
your community, and others around you. So that's what I have for you guys for your June 2024 Pick a Card reading. Um, anyways, you guys, if the message didn't apply, of course, just let it fly. But if it did resonate, you will know why. Um, as I wrap this up here today, you guys, I would just ask that you please give this video a big thumbs up. It helps me out a lot right here on the YouTube algorithm. Also, if I resonate with you as a reader and you did enjoy this reading, I want to invite you guys to go ahead and subscribe to my channel at this time. Hit the notification bell. By hitting that notification bell, you will be up to date and in the know every time a brand new reading gets posted, such as what I did today. And you will also be up to date and in the know um, every time I go live. I've been really trying to make that effort to go live more often, and I would love to have you be a part of that and enjoy and get to know me a little bit better and um, everything that goes on here. And that's a great way to do so. So yeah, I definitely invite you to do that. And uh, let's see what else. Oh yes, and if, um, if you guys want to, you know, please don't be shy at all. Um, drop me a comment down below. Feel free to say hi. I would love to hear from you. And if I really, really resonate with you as a reader, of course, I invite you to check out my website, shadowandshine.com. This, of course, is a general collective reading. But if you are interested in your very own personal reading just for yourself in your own specific situations, that is the perfect place to do so. Um, it's, it's also more thorough and more in-depth than what you would get if you did like a freebie one card poll during a live. I do do those during lives, but um, if there's like a lot of stuff you want to get into or um, more clarity that needs to come through, that's where a personal reading obviously makes the most sense. And also, if you guys enjoy this Oracle deck in my fields, um, this one, as well as others of mine, are available over on my website for purchase. So even if you don't want a reading, but let's say you want an Oracle deck, you can find those over there. And finally, you guys, I want to invite you to join me over on Patreon. Patreon is a blast. It's a fun place to be. Um, we do daily card pulls, weekly card pulls. Um, there's the Discord community where you can uh, collaborate, connect with other people there, for example. Um, so yeah, come and check out Patreon because it's just a, it's a fun, hip and happening place to be. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's basically everything, you guys. I want to thank you for hanging out here with me for a little bit today. It definitely means the world to me, and um, you guys are a blessing, and I appreciate you so incredibly much. I am wishing you guys a very abundant, very blessed, and wonderful June. I am sending you guys lots of hugs and much love. Keep sparkling. Hi, Pile 4. If you chose the obsidian sphere with the zodiac all over it, and then this is going to be the reading for you to find out what is in store for you for June 2024. All right, we're going to put our little zodiac sphere of fun right there. And let's get started, you guys, with your first group of cards from this pile being the Ice Cream Oracle. So I love using the Ice Cream Oracle, of course, during the summertime because I just feel like it's so appropriate and it's so fitting for summer. Um, you know, summer nights are hot and ice cream is sweet and cold, so... It all goes together. Anyways, let's see what you guys got starting with our first card here. We have Salted Caramel, Performances, Costume, and Mischief. Interesting. 
So this could be a few different things. Um, when I think of costumes, performances, and mischief, I feel like this could be implying, um, number one, let's get into mischief. With mischief, I almost kind of feel like somebody could be getting into a little bit of trouble. Someone could almost, it's almost kind of like prank energy, like prankster energy. Someone could be pulling some jokes, some pranks, stuff like that, whether it's you or someone towards you. Um, that's definitely, I would say, the more lighthearted and playful version of this card. Um, a not so playful take on this card with it saying, um, you know, costumes and performances. It tells me that somebody could be putting on a show for you this month. And I don't necessarily mean like going to the movies and watching a show or going to the theater watching a show. Although, of course, if you are planning on seeing a show in the month of June, maybe it is just quite literally that. So that is always a possibility. I'm not going to eliminate that. And that's fine and that's great. But I feel like maybe more on the sinister side, there's a potential that basically someone could lie to you this month. Because, <coughs> oh, oh, sorry about that. Bless me. <laughs> Random sneeze that came out of absolutely nowhere. No idea what just crawled up my nose. Um, anyway, I was going to say that, um, yeah, it could be someone lies to you this month. Because that's what I think of when I think of costumes and performances. It's like someone has to put on a show, someone has to put on an act, they're wearing a mask, they're not showing you who they really are, they're not telling you who they really are, they're not acting who they really are. Um, they're having to cover all of that up for some reason, some whatever unknown reason. So on the more lighthearted side, this card could represent, like I said, playfulness, mischievousness, pranks being pulled, or maybe quite literally going to go see a show. On the not so bright side of this card, it could be someone just straight up lying is what it comes down to. But let's keep going. Let's see if we can get any more 411. Maybe we'll get some more um, information about that situation. We also have the maple card. Um, kindness, friendship, and support. So I feel like with this card coming through, if somebody does wind up lying to you, if someone um, basically bears a false witness of who they really are in a sense, sense once again, I kind of take this card as one of two different ways. Um, in one way, it could it could be a friend of yours who is not really being this, who is not really being a kind and supportive person. They might be putting on an act, making you think that they're being a kind and supportive person because chances are they may want something out of you. They may want to take advantage of you in the month of June. So there's a possibility that for this group, this could be straight up like a warning reading in a sense. And I I hate, I'm not the kind of person who does readings where it's like doom and gloom and fear mongering and that kind of stuff. That's not who I am. And I can't stand those kinds of readings. Um, I prefer doing readings that uplift people, inspire people, that cheer people on, that encourage people. That's, that's where I thrive, right? Um, definitely not the fear mongering aspect of things. Um, so if any of that makes sense with a friend who is potentially not a real friend and that they're actually putting on an act, if that's coming through, I feel like it's basically spirit's way of trying to protect you is what it comes down to. It's kind of a heads up. Like this is something that you need to be aware of. This is something you need to be careful of. Make sure that you're crossing all your T's, you're dotting all of your I's, that you really check people's motives when you're interacting with them just to make sure that you're not putting yourself in any harm's way is what it comes down to. 
on another potential part of this, if there is someone who betrays you, who lies to you and that kind of thing, it could also mean that the current support system that you do have when it comes to friends, that they may really step up and be there for you, which I'm hoping it's the latter as opposed to the former, obviously. I'm hoping that's what this means. Um, so it's possible that if someone hurts you, you know, there are going to be people who are true and genuine friends who are going to step up and do the right thing and be the support that you need in your time of need. What Tinkerbell, oh my gosh, speaking of support, um, they were like this in the last pile too. Like she was so whiny towards me. Can you please relax? You guys are fine. You've had food, you have water, you've had treats. Like they've had everything. I just, they're just, they're needy. I have needy kids here. Um, okay, your third ice cream oracle card. Orange, enthusiasm, confidence, courage. Okay, so with this card coming through, I feel like it's basically saying, like, no matter what happens here with this potential fake person who is a liar, um, I feel like, what, you guys, you guys, calm down. My dogs are going nuts right now. Um, I feel like no matter what happens with that person, you can still trust yourself. Like, be confident in who you are as a person and be confident in your choices. Like, you're not responsible for somebody else lying to you. You know, if, if you wind up believing them and you wind up giving them the benefit of the doubt, don't beat yourself up over it. I feel like you do that because you yourself are a kind person and have a big heart and you probably see the best in everybody. And that's a beautiful trait to have. Um, you know, never lose that trait. With enthusiasm here, I feel like it's basically saying, don't let this tear your enthusiasm down in a sense. Like you still have so much energy and you have so much enthusiasm to go out there and give the world. Like don't stop doing that is what it comes down to. Just don't stop doing that. Tinkerbell, where are you? Where are you? Would you stop whining? Like everyone's going to hear you whining in the background. You're fine. Just lay down in your bed, okay? Usually she lays down in the bed that's underneath the desk when I do readings, but she just doesn't want to do that right now. She just wants to stand here and whine, and whine at me, and I don't know what's going on. Like, I've literally given her everything before doing this. Um, okay, Sacred Creators Oracle deck. Let's see what you guys got. What do you really want? Interesting. So I feel like this is the question that is going to be proposed to you. <laughs> proposed. Like, will you marry me? No. Um, but I feel like this is the question that's going to be coming up in the aftermath of whatever this situation is here. I feel like it's really going to help you understand your priorities. It's going to help you understand what you value. It's going to help you understand what it is that you really want when it comes to friendships, when it comes to people that you trust and who are going to be close in your life. Um, so it's probably going to bring up some questions and, and asking questions is a good thing. It's going to help bring clarity. So you may find yourself asking just that in the month of June, what do I really want? What do I really want when it comes to friendships, relationships, people who are close to me? So that way then I don't have people in my life who are just putting on an act towards me. So that way then I can have these people who are kind and giving genuine support and friendship in my direction. Um, how do I go about navigating that? So you may find yourself asking a lot of questions um, towards the ends of, end of this situation, but that's okay. That's okay. Fierce serenity, serenity. Yes. So, um, it's funny because I, when I think of serenity, I also think of surrendering. I know it's like a completely different word, 
Well, that's kind of something that pops in my head here with this too, is surrendering. It's kind of like, like standing in your own power in a sense too, through this situation. Um, and you don't have to be like bold and ferocious to stand in your power. Like we have a lion here on this card. Like a lion doesn't have to like tell you it's a lion for you to realize that this is a strong and powerful animal. It just exists. It just, it stands in its own personal I am presence. So I feel like you guys need to do that. You need to do that. Stand in your own I am presence. Just stand and be confident in who you are because that alone is enough. Just like that lion standing on its own is enough. Like a lion doesn't have to tell you it's a lion for you to be aware that like, oh, this is a powerful animal. You're powerful too. You're just as powerful. You don't have to tell people that you're powerful because you just naturally exude that. And then we have fearless expression. And we have this little microphone here. So I feel like as you guys go through this experience here of possibly losing a friend or seeing the truth about somebody that is, that may be difficult to see, um, As you explore what it is that you really want in the end, part of doing that may be kind of like talking it out in a sense. Um, you're probably going to have a lot of feelings revolving around this situation. And um, there are going to be mixed feelings because there, there's going to be parts of you who's going to be trying to figure out what was a lie, what wasn't. Um, parts of you that's going to be angry, parts of you that's going to be sad, parts of you that are going to grieve this, this friendship, um, all kinds of different emotions, right? It's not usually just one thing. It's usually a whole bunch of different things going on at once. But here's the beautiful thing. When we go through challenges and difficulties, those are probably the things we need to speak up about the most. Because that's what's real and that's what's relatable. That's what people go through, you know. Um, there's always a time and a place for lighthearted stuff. Like, for example, like way back in the day, I don't even know if people do these here anymore. But way back in the day on YouTube, I remember people used to do like those what's in my bag type videos. Like I remember myself doing one of those like way, way long ago, like long before I ever started doing tarot readings or anything like that. And I mean, those videos are fun. You know, don't get me wrong. They're not bad. They're not harmful. They're fun. They're lighthearted. Um, they're fluff. They're fluff is what it comes down to. But fluff is not the substance of life. And at the end of the day, it's real life stuff like this that is what people can relate to and what, what people really resonate and connect with. It's the deep stuff, right? Not necessarily what's in your bag at the end of the day. Like, oh, look, here's, here's, a, you know, here's my makeup bag and here are my sunglasses. Here's, um... A little container of Tic Tacs or whatever it is you got in there. Um, people relate to real life stuff. So um, I feel like you guys are going to need to express what you've been through. And it's interesting here too with that little microphone that's on there. Whenever I see that little microphone, I always think of like podcasting. And I'm not saying that you guys are going to like launch a podcast based off of this or... Um, anything like that. Maybe you'll be invited on someone's podcast. I don't know. But I feel like there's there's an opportunity with some broadcast aspect of this. Maybe it's recording music that could also represent going into the recording studio and making music. Um, I mean, how many times has Taylor Swift done this? You know, maybe you'll get in touch with your own songwriting inner Taylor, Taylor Swift. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so there's that. Anyways, um, next group of cards we have for you guys is from my own Oracle deck. 
in my feels and you guys got shy, timid, and bashful. So I feel like, you know, once again, coming out of this situation where someone may be kind of playing a few games here with you guys, um, it may leave you feeling a little shy when it comes down to interacting with people and putting yourself back out there again and trusting people and, you know, seeing if you can trust other people's kindness, friendship, and support. Um, it, it may prove to be a little challenging to you. And that's perfectly understandable. That's okay, you know? I don't think anyone expects you to, like, jump right back out there and be a super social butterfly and be, like, the queen of all the extroverts or anything. No one expects that of you. Um, take baby steps. You know, be kind to yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Um, it's okay to acknowledge that you may feel a little shy in the aftermath of things, but, um, you know, one step at a time, it'll be okay. We also have silly, goofy, weird, funny, <laughs> and this is a yes energy. Just so you guys know, this one was a maybe card. Um, every one of these cards in my, in my feels deck, it's all different feelings and emotions. And every feeling and emotion comes with a yes, no, or maybe message attached to that particular emotion. So that's, that's what that means with the maybes and the yeses and everything that comes through. So anyways, with the silly energy here, um, this is a good thing. This is a positive thing because I feel like for some of you guys, this may not have anything to do at all with someone like pretending to be someone that they're not and lying. Remember how I said the flip side of this card was like mischief could be someone pulling jokes, pulling pranks, and that kind of thing. And obviously if someone is pulling jokes and pranks, that's kind of the energy of silly there. Um, so for some of you, it may not even be that serious. It may not even be as serious a, of a thing as like, oh, someone's lying and someone's hurt. So it maybe who knows? Maybe it's like kind of a 50-50 thing. Maybe for some people in this group, it's going to be a more lighthearted thing. And for other people, it might be a little bit more of a struggle. But I feel like for some of you, this is definitely in reference to the fact that this right here is probably going to be all about like, hey, someone's just having fun. They're pulling your leg kind of a thing. Um... You know, it's not April Fool's, but we might be acting like it is. <laughs> and then we have numb, no feeling, maybe. So flipping back to the whole thing about someone potentially lying, someone putting on an act, putting on a show, you know, boring a fort, false witness is what it comes down to. Why are you in the kitchen? What are you doing? Why are you both being so cuckoo right now? <laughs> These dogs are driving me nuts. Um, it's a good thing we're almost done here because I am going to have to see what is going on here and why we're getting so crazy. It's not like the weather is even acting weird outside or anything. So I don't know what this is all about. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, for those of you who experienced the disappointment of someone who may not be who they say they are, um, at some point it literally may make you feel numb. Like you may not even know necessarily how to feel about it. You may not necessarily know what to think about it. Um, I feel like this is more likely to happen in the beginning parts of it, like almost at the point where you're in shock over it and you're still trying to process it. And, you know, it's okay, you know, feeling numb, the feeling of having no feeling, it's normal. It happens. Um, I don't think you're going to stay there forever. Uh, like I said, I feel like that's going to be more attached to a time of being in shock over it. Uh, but it, but it will pass. Do you want to come up here? Is that what you want? Okay. Come here. Come here. Come here. All right. So Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell, who is right here, she's going to help me finish this reading right now because <laughs> her, 
her and her brother, Shadow. They won't leave me alone. What's going on with you, huh? What's going on? Where's, where's Shadow? Okay. Just as long as you don't, like, mangle my microphone on my uh, shirt. Okay. Oh, ow. And our, oh, this one's not good. Our last and final card, Betrayed, Bamboozled, Fooled, No. This is once again for the people who may be dealing with someone who is lying to them this month and is not who they really say, who, not who they really say they are. Um, yeah, this, this is not fun. I don't enjoy delivering messages like this because once again, I prefer delivering messages where people can be uplifted and supported and encouraged. I don't like fear mongering. I don't like saying, hey, someone's out to betray you, blah, blah, blah. But if this is coming through, it's coming through. And it's obviously coming through for a reason. And I feel like the most important reason why is spirit wants you to be going into situations in the month of June with your eyes wide open, with you being aware, with you being observant, with you being prepared is what it comes down to. So if things don't go very well, the blow won't be as severe and it won't be as harsh as what it could be. But it does seem like the truth will probably come out about this person and whatever it is that they've been doing sneaking around your back is probably going to come to light that the truth, you know, it always has a way of revealing itself, of chewing its way out of a situation. So not exactly the most fun energy, obviously, or best news that I would want to deliver, but that's kind of what's going on for you guys. So June, in, in truth, it may be a bumpy month. It may be rough for you, but, you know, hopefully when we get to July, things will be a lot better. Hopefully you'll be past this situation and ready to move on and make things better. And again, this connection that this could be revolving around, it could be a lot of different things. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. It could be a love interest. It could be a coworker at work. So obviously take it where it resonates in terms of area of life because it may be different for each person who comes and sees this. Anyways, I am sending you guys lots of good vibes and love and support, um, especially if this does wind up happening because you guys don't deserve this and you deserve so much better is what it comes down to. And if this does happen and you explore what it is that you really want to do, hopefully it'll clear the path. It'll um, open up the gates for better opportunities and better people to come along in your life in the aftermath and substitute of anyone who is not worthy of being there. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I have for you guys for your June 2024 pick a card reading. Um, if the message did not apply, then just let it fly. <laughs> if it did resonate though, you'll know why. Um, Finally, you guys, as I wrap up this reading with you guys here today, I would just ask that you give this video a big thumbs up. That definitely helps me out a lot here on the YouTube algorithm. And um, if I resonate with you as a reader, I invite you guys to go ahead and subscribe at this time and hit that notification bell. By doing that, you will be up to date and in the know every time a brand new reading is uploaded and posted, and you'll be notified every time I go live, which, as I said at the very beginning of this video, is something I have been working hard at making the point to do more often lately, to do free card pulls for people, and um, just offer an opportunity to get to know me better here is what it comes down to. Um, so yeah. And also you guys drop me a comment down below, you know, don't be shy. Feel free to say hi. Um, I would love to communicate and interact with you guys here. Uh, so yeah, I definitely invite you to 
do all of that. And um, finally, you guys, if I really, really, really resonate with you as a reader, um, head on over to my website, shadowandshine.com. You can uh, get your own personal reading there because it's important to note that this here is a general collective reading. So, you know, it's tapping into the energy of a lot of different people. Could be a lot of different situations happening here. Um, in your own personal reading, of course, we get to basically just address you and your specifics and your details and your life exactly um, without any other interference of energy coming in from anywhere else. And um, while I do have the one card readings during the lives, um, that is only one card. And sometimes one card doesn't necessarily bring us enough information on what we need to know. So, like I said, if you are looking for something more in depth, my website is the perfect place to go to for that. And if you're not interested in a reading, but if you are interested in this Oracle deck in my feels, that's available for purchase over on my website as well. Um, in addition to several other decks that I have that are up for sale there as well. So whether you do readings for yourself or readings for friends, or even if you have clients of your own, that's a great option too. Um, finally, you guys, I want to invite you to my Patreon. Patreon is a really fun community. Lots of good things going on over there. We have daily card polls, weekly card polls. There's the Discord server where you can connect with people and not be betrayed. Um, but just, you know, have a good time connecting with others and doing life together is what it comes down to. So I would love to invite you guys over to my Patreon. And um, that's basically that. So links to my website, my Patreon, my other socials, all that good stuff you can find in the description down below. Otherwise, I want to thank you guys for hanging out here with me for a little bit today. It definitely means the world to me. I appreciate you guys so incredibly much. I am wishing for you a very happy, very blessed and abundant June. Let's change this energy here. Um, I will see you guys later on though. And I am sending you lots of hugs and much love. Keep sparkling.